everybody, this is Pramita here and this is my design team project um, journal flip through. So I have done this um, design team project for Kelly, uh, Kelly's Crafts by Kelly, she's on Etsy and I'll post all the links to her shop below as well as the kit that I have worked with. So um, I have given you a sneak peek of sorts on the things that I've been doing. So, uh, I have uh, made this cover using a cookie box and I have a playlist um, attached with all the details while I go through the step-by-step -step process. So, I will um, link that uh, playlist below in the description box. I'm also going to link Etsy store of Kelly as well as the kit that I have used. Okay, so all the details are going to be in the description box as I usually do. So this is the, now regarding the size, it ha, it is f uh, four and three quarters in width and uh, it is a little bit shy of nine inches um, as, you know, the length of the journal. Okay, and it has a one inch spine. So I've done a lot of uh, collaging over here, as you can see. And there are two envelopes, window envelopes, uh, on the front I have this window envelope and at the back I have another one uh, they both act as pockets uh, other than that they have no function so they are tied with a policy envelope kind of thing with a brad so I'm going to take this jute twine off I've used jute twine to tie this because I felt that this kit has a rustic tone on to it so um, you know the I, I liked I went with the flow you know I I usually do that so whatever the kit requires me to do I do that um, <laughs> if it would have been a very girly one I would have done something very different so it's the kit which dictates my path on which I'm going to travel so um, I have used a um, bulldog clip and I've made a tag jewelry as I had shown yesterday uh, if you have not not watched that video, then please do. I'll also post that link below. So here is the link to making these tiny scrap tag um, jewelry. You don't need to put a bead, but I decided to go with a bead uh, dangle. You can put buttons, you can put lace, you can put anything, or you can just leave them as it is. So I'm going to do a few variations of this uh, very soon. So watch out for that. So here is the journal, actual journal, and as you open this up, uh, this is what it looks like. As you open this up, here is the front pocket. Uh, this is a journal card that came in the kit, and I've just backed it with some tea stained papers. This goes in, and as you open this, the spine has been lined with uh, some washi tape that have been glued um, together. And I've sealed the inside. I have not added any pocket over here because I found that if I put a pocket, I will completely cover this image, which I didn't want to do. So I've used, uh, I have not used any pocket over here. But there are plenty of pockets and tuck spots inside. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, this is a printable envelope. Vintage envelope um, that I've used. And... Um, so I've turned it into a tuck spot. So this is a pocket where I have inserted a journal card that went into this pocket. Okay. And let me put this in. Okay, so it goes in. And here is a ticket, you know. Uh, it came in the kit. So uh, this is a huge kit, 31, 30 pages. And um, I have used it, um, you know, completely demolished it, you can say. So this is a tag that I made from one of the images on the page. And I had this um, circle 
uh, as a negative space after I have used to make some dies, cut some dies. So I decided to use it as a frame. So that's what I did. And I've done some collage over here. This is a page from the kit. Um, I think this has around 60 pages. I'm not sure. I'll, I need to check that. Because I go, get caught up in um, making the journal so much that after the initial um, planning, I just l lost track of the number of pages. Probably there is um, a little bit less or more. I I'll give you all the details. Uh, so this is a tuck spot I made. Again, I folded over. And this is again one of the journal cards that came in the kit. I've used it as a focal image on the page and I have used some washi collage strips sort of thing. Uh, this is another uh, scrap that I had from the pages uh, because this journal is a little bit smaller uh, in, you know width wise so I had a lot of scraps so I've used that up so this is an altered CD uh, case um, so I've done some collage and here is the journal card that goes in. Again, I've done a lot of collage, some used some washi stickers. These were all scraps from pages which I've turned into uh, journal cards. Um, some tag from the kit. And I've made a pocket at the back. <coughs> These were tickets that came in the kit. So what I've done is I've <coughs> made this as a flap and then I can tuck something in. So this mushroom uh, journaling card was in the kit. And then when you flip this, there is another page from the kit. There are lots of writing spaces as well as pockets. You can use this as you like. So this is another card that came in the kit. I have done some slight collages on them. This is another pocket uh, you know, pocket, plethora of pockets, you can say, because uh, you can keep on adding pockets to pages like this. So there is a back pocket where there is a journal card. Again, I've done some washi tape and um, label collage. This was from a scrap piece that I had. So that goes in at the back. And then there is another pocket at the front. So there are two card tags and then when you turn this, there is this page which I've turned into a pocket and this is an envelope. So you can close it with this ticket stub. So that's that. That goes in here. Again some washi uh, that I've used. Some washi. This is a page from the kit some pocket and tags. This was actually a notepad that I've used. So use them. You'll see little bits and pieces of washi collage or washi here and there just so that there aren't any blank spaces. Wherever I felt that uh, you know it needed a little bit of uh, something I added a little bit of washi. These are mostly from Prima. Again a page and I've made some pocket tag to go in some washi this is from Edith Holden uh, these are all from Prima and some grid paper again some washi because there is a bee theme also nature's bounty so here is the bee card this is a ephemera that came in the kit and then I have made some journal cards from the now this kit here you know, has uh, I think uh, five or six collage sheets so that helped me a ton you know if you are planning on buying a kit please look for collage pages because that gives you a lot of head start in making um, pockets journal cards and stuff like that you can make your own collages also so here is a journal card that I made I used some washi stickers uh, from my stash. So this is again. So this is the center of the journal. And then 
again a general card. So this is actually a flip. So you can write. There are lots of spaces for writing. Again some lined paper. Okay, so this is a little bit interesting. Um, this is actually a flip. So you have some journal space here. I've done some uh, wash. I've just put down some washi stickers. This is actually a pocket which has a tag from the kit that goes in. Here is another pocket which again has a tag. These were all scraps from the um, scraps and I have turned them into tiny tags using book pages and some images stickers actually those those images are stickers some pocket and then when you close this here are two envelopes uh, postcards sorry <coughs> which are actually pockets so you have one pocket over here and another one over here so I've done some collage, washi collage over here and added some butterfly. So this is actually a flip kind of pocket. Here is another fold out page. And I've used some washi. <coughs> this was one of the portions in the collage pages and what I've done is I've made it into a pocket. So this is actually a journal tag that goes inside this tag pocket. So again some washi that I've used some stenciling this is a huge pocket so here what we have is we have this little collage that I've done and some journal card this is actually a tag pocket so this tag goes into this pocket so you can journal over here and then turn over and then journal on this card also so that's that was interesting according to me so again some page from the kit that I've made into a pocket. Um, this is again one of the pages from the kit regard you know the mushroom image. And then this is a tuck spot that I made. Okay so these were all scraps that I have uh, had you know and then what I did was I layered them up and made this into a tuck spot. So this is actually a, something that you can tuck in. So this is a journal card from the kit. Again, this is a flip pocket, so I'll just, so this actually flips up. So you have a tuck spot over here and you can write something because it says notes and there are lined page to it. This is a journal card that came, you know, postcard that came in the kit. I've lined it with tea stained papers. And then you can close this and again you have two pockets over here one at the bottom and one over here and the back is all collaged with little bits and pieces from the kit and at the back you know there is another pocket so I have something over here that goes in so this closes up this is a top tuck sort of thing and this is one of the portions of the collage page Again, I've used some washi. Again, some pocket. Some page from the kit. Again, this is some washi uh, strip that I've used. This is a guest check that came in the kit, you know. And what I did was, it was too tall. So, I chopped off the bottom part, which, which had this gift guest receipt and I made it into a tiny tuck so you can tuck something in and when you close this there is another pocket at the back so you have this pocket and this is this actually has been hinged on the CD case you know the CD case uh, envelope cover it had a small lip sort of thing so I've attached these two on that so that there is a pocket in between these two spaces. Again, some page from the kit that I have turned into a writing spot. <coughs> some washi. 
this is again i have to, i have used distress oxide uh this is uh, i think frayed burlap perhaps oh no this is vintage photo so i have used vintage photo and then i have um you know splotched it over on the page you can say so if you want to see how i did these kind of things you'll have to comment below so that i can share so this is just a simple tag that goes into the other side of the envelope remember the opening uh, page where we had an envelope and this is another tiny scrap i had which i thought would go in this envelope this side so let me tuck this in so that goes in here and this goes in here so this is our um cookie box altered cookie box sort of thing and at the back what i've done is I have added a tag to this pocket. Sorry. And I have attached this, you know, tag jewelry sort of thing uh, with the tag itself. And you can see I've added some beads, some um, lace, some button. So lots of things you can add uh, just to jazz things up and make it look interesting. So this is the cookie box, altered cookie box sort of thing. <laughs> that I did as the cover. <coughs> Let me put this aside. And this is the altered envelope that I have done. So again, um, this this measures I think uh, six and a half by five and a half, something like this. So it has a little bit of lace tabs, charms. And again, one of those dingly dangly tag jewelry sort of thing that I had done. Um, I'll probably make a few more and keep them in my stash because these were pretty good. And of course, they also help you to use up your stash. That's another thing. And I've added a beaded um, charm to these, a bead to bead dangle to this. Sorry. Um, and this is attached, this entire thing is attached on a paper clip. So you can, if you want, you can take this paper clip off. So you can take this paper clip off and use it somewhere else also, if you so desire. So this is actually an altered envelope, which has been reinforced on the spine with the fabric, vintage fabric. Uh, then I have added the lace. So... I'm going to take this off. This is a tea dyed um, muslin that I've used as a closure. Again, one of the snippets that I usually do some vintage button that I had in my stash. This is journal card that came in the kit. So I've just added that. And um, these are the pockets that I've added. And at the back there is another pocket. Okay. And when I open this up, again the co covers are basically, the procedure is the same. Lots of collage and uh, I have sealed everything up with this glossy Mod Podge because I wanted to give this a full leather kind of look. Leathery look, you can say. So this is a tag that came in the kit. I added a pocket. Again, one of the envelopes, um, they are going to be uh, made into printables. So I have used the printables. They are not the original ones. And here I have a journal card. So let me show you the journal card. So this is actually a fabric card. And then what I've done is I've used some tissue paper. I have uh, decoupaged on them. And then I've stained uh, the page. Here I've just punched a hole and added a bulb pin with some very teeny tiny buttons uh, and I have just added that to this envelope. So you have this en envelope, this is pretty roomy and you can put uh, things like this. So if you want you can put it like this but I wanted to put it like this So because I wanted the bead to hang out. So that's that and here i have added some tabs throughout the journal seals journal you will see that i have added a lot of fabric lace button tabs i've added buttons also to the tabs you'll see throughout so this um 
pocket. This is like a pocket. This flips up. And here you have another page from the kit. And I've used some journaling ephemera just to tuck in over here. Here I have added a tiny pocket. This is from a scrap I had. <laughs> Again, some tags that I made. Okay. And when you close this, here is the tab. So this is the front page. Then this is the next page. <coughs> so what I did was, again, I've made one pocket over here. And again, some pocket over here. So I have done a lot of collages over here. This is a page from the kit. Again, I've done a lot of collage over here. Mostly from <coughs> the scraps that I had. Um... Here is an envelope with a journal card. So that goes in at the back. This is actually a flip pocket sort of thing. Let me show you. So you have some journaling space over here. This was a page from the kit. And this is actually a die cut pocket that I had. And I've had just added a journal card that was also in the kit. And that goes in. Okay, and then this closes up. Here I've done a lot of collages, mostly from the scraps that I had. Some stenciling, again a CD case. Uh, I have some lace over here. And some fabric, um, you know, collage that I've done. Some journal card that go in. Okay. Then when you turn this, there is another pocket at the back. This was in the kit. Some journal card. Again, this was a page from the kit. Some journal card. Some washi tape that I've used. Uh, here I have used a small scrap of paper that I had uh, as, you know, cut off when I cut off the pages. So I made it into a pocket. You'll see a lot of tiny things throughout the journal like this. So here you have a pocket. And here I've done a little bit of cluster with lace and buttons. And this has a mushroom uh, charm attached with a bead. So if you want, you can take it off because it's attached with a uh, bulb pin. But I think it's cute, you know, to have uh, tactile elements like that. Again, a pocket from the kit, an image also from the kit. Um, pocket, some journal card. These are some stickers that I had in my stash forever. I was not using them. These are washi stickers and uh, I, um, and again I've done some tabs using fabric and lace scraps so you can use them like so. On the other side I have used again stickers and these were backgrounds were all from the kit. This is another journal card page. Again, this was a tiny scrap that I had. I decided to make it into a pocket. So you have another pocket and some image from the kit that goes in. Page from the kit. Again, some scrap I had and I've made it into a pocket. Some tab I made. This has a hanging sort of thing. Again, a pocket that I made. This is a page from uh, Edith Holden. I've used some washi stickers. Um, this, I don't know why it got stuck anyways. So here, uh, I've made it into a small tuck. I can use something over here also. But that was not the intention. I don't know how it got stuck. So I need to fix this. Um, so here is a tiny journal card. Some washi.
here I have done a pocket and I've used some scraps that I had just to do some collage. This is the middle of the signature or the journal, sorry. Um, and I've used five hole pamphlet stitch in both the journals. So they are pretty sturdy. I love this collage pages. Absolutely bonkers about them. And they can be used in so many ways and I've used them throughout, you know. Uh, you can make pockets, you can make journal cards, tags, you can use them as pages. Um, so this is another journal card. Some washi stickers, washi, not washi stickers, sorry. So again, I've added some small elements just to jazz the page up. Some washi sticker. Here I've done some collage and this was a pay, uh, journal card from the kit. I've just added a button over here and I've added a lace on the other side. <coughs> uh, this is another pocket that I made. Again, I had these tiny scraps. I decided to use it into a pocket, some page from the kit, again some scrap that I had made it into a pocket and again some scrap into a journal card. So stenciling, journal card, again I've made some double layered tabs. This is again one of those flip up flip down sort of thing. This opens below and you have enough space to write and here you have a journal card and then when you close this here is another journal card that comes up and you have a beautiful image at the back for beehive so that goes in this took me a while to make because I was doing it very slowly I was taking my own time but usually I do a journal very quickly uh, because I spend a lot of time in the planning stage, you know. <laughs> and um, when I get down to making the actual journal, it doesn't take uh, more than two to three days because I, I have done all the uh, probable research and, uh, you know, planning way ahead. I even touch the journal, actual journal making process. So this is another uh, pocket that I did and what I've done is this is a uh, you know small mushroom portion that I had I made it into a pocket these are some cards I had and I decided to use them these were excellent tiny cards so I've just tucked that in again some lace that I've added here I've added another uh, I've just cut down some of the pages um, and I've used some grid paper to back these up. So these are the flip tags, uh, flip pockets and some tags. And I absolutely love those circular uh, wordings that she has. Um, Kelly, this is a request to you. You should make uh, those only the, you know, the some sort of a kit if possible, uh, which will have only those words like bees and butterflies and nature and seeds and herbs and stuff like that. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. And uh, here is a page from the kit. Again, I've used some collage sheet to make this flip pocket. So you'll see there's another tag that goes in. And I'll put this later on. And at the back, there is another journal card. This is uh, actually a portion from a kit and I just had this scrap paper so I decided to add that. Um, just a touch spot or pocket sort of thing. So this is a flip sort of thing. Again some pocket. This was a scrap that I had and this was from one of, you know, from the kit itself and some tag that came in the kit. So I've done some collage and then I have used some elements from the kit. This is a page from the kit. I love these words, you know. These are my absolutely favorite thing in this, these kits. So this is a tuck spot as I did. And 
this is also journal card just added a lace tab I've used it as a you know scrap sort of thing and then again some large journal card done a little bit of collage again some tab with beads and then we come towards the end so this is the back so this is my uh, design team project for Kelly's Crafts by Kelly I hope you people like it and uh, they are also going to be listed in my shop so by the time you see this it's also going to be listed so thank you everybody and thank you Kelly for giving me this opportunity to work with this kit thank you bye stay safe